Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. In this episode we are going to talk about using oilers on your printer or not using them. And what is an oiler and how will you use it and well I'm going to tell you not to use it. But that's for the end of the video. So let's first discuss how you can use an oiling system. An oiling system is a system that is a small box and in that box there is a sponge and your filament comes from the spool and runs through that small box that you print and uh, in that box uh, it runs through the sponge and the sponge is impregnated with oil and then uh, the filament is oiled and uh, is lubricated with oil and will then go through the printer and at the end go through the nozzle. The second way of doing it, and some people say you shouldn't run it all the way to your printer, is by cutting a piece of filament, then uh, using that piece of filament to drip it inside uh, a bottle of oil, uh, for a small part, just a part like this, uh, then tipping it on some paper, and then pushing it through the hot end of your printer, so uh, you won't go through the whole pot of your printer with, with the oiled or lubricated filament but only through the essential last part. And uh, then you will push this filament by hand and extrude it by hand through the nozzle uh, all the way until you have about this length of filament pushed through and then they say that the nozzle is oiled. Well, to start with uh, why should you use oil? The people saying that this is a good way of working they say that uh, your printer will create smoother prints. Uh, they also say that you will have less clocks. So when you're printing then your printer will have less clocks than when you're printing without an oiling system. Um, in fact uh, they even say that uh, they're very happy since they used this oiling system. And I believe them. I truly, truly believe them. Uh, people using extra vitamins also say they are more healthy because they are using extra vitamins. And also people who are not drinking any alcohol are saying they are, are healthier because they're not drinking any alcohol. And if you believe in something, then it's my opinion that uh, it's true. So if you really believe that not drinking alcohol will help you get older and, and stay healthier, well, don't drink alcohol. And uh, the same thing goes for an oiling system. If you truly believe that an oiling system will improve your prints, then use an oiling system. Now let's do the, the maths. So let's calculate how much oil you're really going to use to use inside your nozzle uh, when using an oiling system because a clock or a smoother print can only occur if the oil is in the nozzle because this is the place where smoothness comes out and this is also the place where clocks can, can grow. So let's say that you're using this tip to drip in a bottle with oil then put it on paper so you drip off the, the, the excess of oil and you only have some oil on the outside shell of this filament then this whole piece of filament would be covered in oil well let's assume this is true then uh, it's about well maybe uh, 20 picoliters? 50 picoliters? It's a very, very small amount. It's only one drop, and even that, it's a very small drop. This is going through your hot end, and let me catch a hot end here for you. So, basically, here is what I have. Uh, if you're forgetting all the other parts in the printer that it's going through, if you're forgetting the extruder, everything, this is what it's really going through. You push it inside, and then it goes through uh, the, the opening of this heater block. Then it goes inside your heat brake, because there is a heat brake inside this, this block. 
uh, in that heat break there is a PTFE tube or another tube that's the inner liner tube uh, that is guiding your filament all the way down to the nozzle and then all the way at the end there is the nozzle so if there was any oil on this outside first two centimeters of your filament then well maybe a fraction of it is getting inside of your nozzle the rest of the oil is lubricating all the things you have hit with that filament and everything that is lubricated is now uh, well it, it's now uh, contaminated and uh, it can now collect dust and it can now collect particles and uh, it can can collect all kinds of rubbish you don't want inside your nozzle so then you are going to extrude this amount of filament through this very very tiny nozzle with a 0.4 opening well let's assume you have a 0.8 nozzle or you have a 0.1 nozzle whatever it doesn't matter you're going to extrude all this filament through this nozzle do you really think that with the adhesion of oil being more adhesive to the filament than to metal do you really think that uh, this filament uh, th this oil is going to stay in that nozzle and lubricate your nozzle well think again uh, it won't happen your nozzle won't be lubricated all the oil is gone after you have put this length of filament through the nozzle now let's talk about the other way let's talk about the filament pot so the filament from the roll is getting through the printer and uh, if you have a Bowden setup then uh, it's going through the extruder then to the PTFE tubing then it's going inside this part here if you don't have a Bowden setup then the extruder is right above this and you can forget the PTFE tube so there is a, a way longer path that the filament has to travel but there is also well, way more oil that's going to be used because you have that small box and that small box uh, you have some sponge in it and there you have some oil in so you're going to use more oil well let's assume you have a uh, two teaspoons of oil and you're going to drip that in it's really it's way way too much but let's assume you do this then slowly uh, because this because of the sponge slowly all this oil will get to the filament uh, not all that oil but a lot of that oil will get onto the sides of that filament so it's coming through the gears of your extruder and your extruder gears will get uh, slippery and wet uh, but also they will collect dust more easy and they will collect rubbish inside the tooth of the gear so your gear will will be uh, contaminated then this whole pot will be contaminated and uh, you're using more oil but hey how much filament are you going to use uh, if you have two teaspoons of oil this means you have about 30 to 35 drops of oil that's about the, 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 the amount you're going to use. We assumed that one drop of oil was enough for this. Now let's assume that you're going to run a print for well, 20, 25 meters of filament and uh, you're using this system. Then really you're only using 25 drops of oil, maybe 30, 30 drops of oil drips I, I don't know how you call them, the, those little drips um, on all that filament that you are using and that you are going to put through hold the system now this is just how it, how it goes now take the other route someone is making this filament and uh, it's filament and uh, there has to be a color to it so uh, when the filament is being made they throw 
a color ingredient in the filament. And uh, if you have followed the 3D printing nerd, uh, then he likes the smell of bacon. So uh, they make bacon very small and after they've done so, they throw bacon through the filament. Or if you like wood, they throw wood through the filament. Or metal particles or just whatever you like. They throw it inside that filament. And uh, then everything is mixed and collected and then it's extruded as a wire of 1.75 or 3 millimeters. Uh, so it becomes a filament spool. Why shouldn't they use, let's say, uh, 5 teaspoons or maybe 20 teaspoons of oil in that filament? And then uh, this filament will be uh, oiled. It will be lubricated. So this filament is already lubricated. And believe me, good filaments are lubricated. Good filaments, well, the people making the filament, uh, filament are thinking of ways to get it to get it smooth out of your nozzle. They are thinking of ways uh, to make it a more smooth experience for you. And, and so that their filament is better than all the other filaments. So if you really want to have a good experience 3D printing and if you really want that you have smooth prints and less clocks buy a good filament. Just a good filament is all you need because in a good filament there is a lubricant already. You don't have to use oil, you don't have to get your, your printer all dirty uh, because of your, your oiling system that goes through the whole printer. It's already there. It's already in the filament. So decide for yourself. Do you want to use an oiling system? Well, please use an oiling system. Uh, but if you're if you're doing your maths and if you're calculating how much oil eventually will be here in this nozzle, because here this very small point, this is what we're talking about. This is what has to be lubricated. This very very small part. And if you really think that you're going through all those lengths of, of things that can be contaminated to only oil that small part, well, go use an oiling system. I won't do it if I were you. Well, this is it for this episode. Um, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, please give it a thumbs down. Also mention the reason why you think so. Um, also, if you yeah, if you would like to uh, subscribe to my channel and see more of my videos, then please subscribe. Uh, I'd like to have a lot of subscribers, but don't forget to hit that bell button. Because if you hit that bell button on YouTube, then you will be notified when I make a new video. And if you want to support the channel, there are two ways of supporting me. One way is to uh, give a one-time donation and the other way is to become a Patreon. And both the links are in the description down below. So this is it for this episode, thanks for watching and I'll see you again, bye bye!